Hi, welcome to section 11.5, Formulas and Further Applications. Hopefully by the end of this, you will be able to solve this formula for a specified variable, kind of rearranging them, and you'll be able to solve some application problems. And specifically, we're going to look at application problems involving Pythagorean theorem, area, and projectiles. So let's start with formulas. So what we're going to do is just rearrange a formula. And really, you have the same tools as you normally do with equations. It's just that we move things around and have variables in our answer, okay? So we've got f equals 30 times the square root of a over p. And we're going to solve this equation for the variable a. So a is right here. It's underneath that square root. So uh, thinking about when I solve square roots, well, I should probably get the radical by itself first. So let's divide both sides by 30. So now I've got s over 30 equals the square root of a over p. Now that I have the radical by itself, I can undo the square root by squaring both sides. So the squaring and the square rooting are opposite operations. We'll have a over p on that right side. On the left side, s squared is just s squared. Uh, 30 squared is 900. All right, we're getting closer. The only thing left to do to get a by itself is to get rid of the p. They're attached by division. It's a divided by p. So the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So I'm just going to multiply both sides of my equation by p. So uh, these will divide out. That'll be a 1. Uh, and then we'll have an a on the right side. On the left side, it doesn't really matter uh, if you put the p first or second. Um, as long as it's there. So we'll have like s squared p or p s squared over 900 equals a. So if it just says, hey, solve it for a, well, usually they kind of flip it around to a equals blank. <laughs> and uh, like that, we'll just say a equals s squared p over 900. And there's our answer. Now you guys get to try one and show me how much you've learned.